Hello everyone, this is Vinny Art, and today I am reviewing a pretty interesting piece. Uh, this is a knockoff version of the Megatron concept artwork, um, Bumblebee uh, Studio Series 109 uh, Transformers figure. So this is a, a China knockoff, and um, I'll tell you right now, this guy was half the price, and this thing is amazing. So, uh, yeah, I missed out on the uh, official figure. I had him in my hands at one point the day he came out. I thought I'd see him in other places for cheaper because he is an expensive figure. He retails, well, the original piece retails for about $55. And on eBay, he's going for astronomical numbers, anywhere starting from like uh, 75 to about $200 in some places. And I was, I, I couldn't believe it, but I ended up finding him on eBay, this knockoff version for about 25 bucks. And uh, I got to say, this thing is incredible. I did put that decal on, um, it basically it's a sticker and you can't even tell the difference between this and the official figure. Um, very, very impressed with this guy. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to be getting into it. The details on this thing is incredible. Um, they nailed everything. I think the only thing that's a little bit different is the shape of the eyes and the paint on, on the eyes. But other than that, it's spot on to the uh, actual um, Studio Series figure. So, um, I got to say, I, I'm very, very impressed with this thing. So, uh, we're going to get into it again. And this is especially if you like the movie versions. He was supposed to be in the film, and this was the concept artwork or he was kind of based off of, but uh, very cool. But anyway, uh, arti articulation, he's got a ball joint for the head, a little bit limited with the up and down stuff, but uh, he does have a beautiful uh, joint in the shoulder. He does the butterflies, um, pretty much, it almost acts like a ball joint, the up and down he has on there, bicep cut. He does have, it's it goes past 90 degrees, the... Uh, the elbow, but he does have turn by the by the um, forearm as well. He's got um, a swivel for the wrist, and the index finger has multiple points of articulation. Uh, the other ones are all kind of together, but you still have movement there. He has full rotation um, in the uh, in the waist. Move the hip skirts. He can do beautiful splits, far surpassing that. Uh, you move these front parts a little bit, and you can get his legs all the way up. It goes further than this, but um, again, I was just kind of getting used to the figure. But uh, beautiful knee bend, um, single, but it goes pretty far. His, his leg goes all the way back, no hindrance whatsoever. Um, he does have uh, the uh, hinge forward and back, and a beautiful ankle pivot that's very, very secure, very tight. In fact, I thought I didn't have it at first, but... Uh, I was wrong, it has it. Uh, he does have articulation by the arm cannon. That could also come off, by the way. And, uh, yeah, the, like I said, the hinge and stuff on there are very, very cool. Uh, he has ports on his back, so if you want, you could definitely um, use either one of those pegs on the cannon. Um, you could even do storage, which I thought was interesting, kind of. I don't know, a little bit weird and a little bit un unnecessary as well, but um, you might be able to find even more um, alt modes for this guy, which we'll get into because he is a triple changer officially, but there's also another mode uh, that this guy has. So um, sort of a hidden mode. Um, so yeah, he could pretty much transform into four different things, minimum. I've seen people transform into other stuff as well, which is pretty damn amazing considering how uh, streamlined this figure is. So yeah, if you want to put the cannon on his back, you could also do that. I don't know, it's up to you how you want to display your figures, but um, again, very, very cool piece. Here he is with the Studio Series 110 um, uh, Shockwave. And I gotta say, they look amazing together. Even though we didn't get Megatron from the Bumblebee movie, uh, we didn't get this version of him. But... Um, yeah, he got cut out of the film. 
but um yeah this this guy is amazing so um breaking him down oh yeah before we get into that here is a uh, another awesome piece this guy was also a knockoff so for the price of the actual megatron i got two figures so expect a review on this guy as well uh, another very interesting and very cool piece I, I don't have a nemesis prime at this scale but uh i certainly have a knockoff now who is uh probably better than the studio series uh optimus prime that i think that this mold is originally based off of which is i think the rise of the beast version but he's he's slightly upscaled as well so this guy's at about eight inches maybe a little bit more Megatron's at about seven and a half, somewhere around there. Uh, but yeah, here is his tank mode. Like I gotta say, his tank mode is it's pretty cool. I think a lot of people they bitch too much on this. I've seen a couple of people review this and they hate it, and I don't know too many people crying about it. I think it looks pretty cool. It looks like a Cybertronian tank, almost reminiscent of uh, Beast Machines. So um, I, I I like the design of what they did. And that turret does go all the way around, which is really cool. And you could um, aim that arm cannon up or down, since it is on those uh, those pegs that are attached to his forearms. Uh, and here he is next to the other tank, Shockwave, uh, which is interesting because Shockwave looks so much bigger than him the way that he's kind of he transforms. But Shockwave feels a little more hollow, and he's got more solid kind of parts. That Megatron has got joints everywhere. Probably the most articulated uh, Megatron figure I've I've ever come across, and I, I gotta say he he is pretty impressive. We'll, we're gonna break into more of that, but um, here's something I thought that was kind of interesting. I took the uh, the blades from that uh, Nemesis Prime, and I just kind of stuck them there to fill in the gaps a little bit. And Nemesis Prime also comes with this this little dude from Beast Machines. Um, I can't remember his name at the moment, but um i thought it looked kind of fun and cool to throw them on there so that's a thing you could do if you want to do it but uh yeah those blades were just like i said they're just laid on top and they kind of fill the gap so i don't know there's things you could do if you want to do them uh, nothing necessary just kind of goofing around but um yeah like i said uh the uh actual whole turret part um that, that's that swivels all the way around 360 degrees so that was that was really cool. Um, the connection points they could have been a little bit better for the arms, but I think it still works. The underside still pretty good. You can tell it's a tank. And yeah, there you go. Just kind of showing you real quick. But yeah, it does go all the way around. Um, and like I said, you could also angle the arm cannon up or down. So yeah, there's no restrictions there. So that alone, I think it looks good. You know, he seems a little more compact, but I still dig it. It still works. Uh, this mode, his jet mode, this one I'm not a fan of. Um, it doesn't clip on properly, those like those pegs and stuff. Um, thankfully, the joints are very tight on this thing. Uh, the loosest one, I think, would be the butterfly joints on the arms. But, um, yeah, for the most part... Uh, Certain angles it could look kind of cool, but uh, it's a flimsy kind of cheap mode, and I don't even have everything pegged in properly. It's just, yeah, it wasn't well thought out. Like I said, kind of unnecessary too. I think they did it because in the original Transformers movie, um, the Michael Bay one, he turns into a jet, so they wanted to get kind of everything in there. Um, eh, it is what it is. My least favorite, but he looks a little bit bigger in that version. The way he's kind of splayed out. And here is the fourth and hidden mode. Um, yeah, you could actually turn him into some sort of like Cybertronian gun. I mean, it kind of looks like he's doing a little bit of yoga. But um, it kind of works. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, but again, to each their own, whether they like it or they don't like it. Uh, this is not on the instructions or anything. This is just kind of messing around and... Um, yeah, a few people, like I said, online, they've come up with a bunch of different versions of um, what you could transform him into, kind of. So it's, it is interesting. But, um, yeah, I, I thought this looked pretty good. I even seen some people, they use the cannon 
I believe, from the Siege and the Earthrise Megatron. You could put that on one of the ports on top, so it looks like it's kind of the, uh, the scope. Um, so, yeah, there's things you could do if you want to do it. Um, and if, it feels comfortable in the hand, too, so not too bad. The only thing is it's from the top and the bottom. You'll see the big gap. Um, but from the side, it's fine. Like I said, it kind of works. Again, uh, plane mode is the worst mode. Tank mode was pretty cool. Gun mode is kind of fun. Even though, like I said, it's just kind of cheaply, you know, kind of put together. But overall, the robot mode, fantastic. 9 out of 10. This guy is incredible. Be sure to pick up my uh, Volume 3 art book as well. This thing is perfect bound, 64 pages. Uh, absolutely amazing. Okay, you don't want to miss out on this one. Again, this is the th Volume 3. Uh, it's available right now in Indiegogo for a limited time. Um, yeah, more information soon on some of my other projects and, uh, yeah, upcoming stuff. There's also uh, going to be a sneak peek at City of Venus 2 in this book. So, uh, yeah, you're not going to want to miss this at all. Uh, like I said, this is going to be the next um, major comic book that I am releasing. This one's going to be around 52 pages. All right, for anyone looking for some amazing comic books, uh, this is part of my collection. I am the artist and creator of Shadow of the Kraken. This is a beautiful pirate story, 52 pages, beautiful artwork. Um, yeah, everything you need out of a great pirate story, you're right here. We have City of Venus. It's a futuristic story. Also another one that I totally created. Um, beautiful, if you love uh kind of post-apocalyptic worlds, beautiful women, uh, sci-fi, action. This has a little bit of everything in it. So if you're looking for that, um, on that campaign, you could also get for a limited time, uh, volume one and two of my art books. These are loaded with amazing images, 52 pages each. Uh, yeah, they got pretty much everything you need in there. And we have, of course, hardcover book. This is Through the Woods, um, co-created and written by Frankie Tartamella. My brother and uh, yeah I did all the artwork this is a hundred pages you get the entire story in here uh, beginning middle end you get all of it and it is truly amazing so uh, if you're looking for a, a great ghost story uh, this is definitely the book for you just click the link in the descriptions and uh, yeah these books ship immediately